So, you want to play competitive. Man, you have a lot to learn. Uh, <clears throat> first of all, you have to be aware of well, metagame. In other words, be aware of all the decks that are being used in competitions, all the competitive decks. Everything. Okay. All the cards everyone's using. Well, not literally all of them, but all the ones are going to be in certain decks and blah, 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 blah. So, um... <clears throat> Also, hold on. See this? These are all tabletop decks, okay? Also, but even though the magic deck is not part of any format whatsoever, although it plays like modern, the point is this, okay? When you are playing competitive, okay, again with the meta game, but. And not just that, but let's see, no, no, we're talking about dice. Yeah, do not bring dice to tournaments unless they're damage counters or counters for magic. Okay, because you get knocked over and you can't tell what your life total is, neither can your opponent, so things get mixed up. Oh, yeah, so better yet, write it down. Okay. Um, and, um, just to make sure about shuffling, okay, yes, remember this, I'm sure you do, from the last video, if you haven't seen it yet, you can, um, yeah, just go to that video, but, you have to be aware of what stacking is, and people just love people do this in tournaments. It is illegal. It is a, it is a bannable offense. So um, what it, what it is is that take the card you need from the bottom and like just put it at the top, basically like shuffling your deck so you get end up, so you end up getting all the cards you need. Let's say in this deck I would need like Xerneas or whatever. I would just like look at it and like. Shuffle it until I keep getting a Zarnies in my hand or whatever. Well, you get the point of all this. Um, okay, no, I didn't exactly get Zarnies, but anyhow, you know, but that's yes, but you get the gist. But you get the gist of that. Also, people would so also people would stack your deck trade and end up getting all the terrible cards since the cards reflect off your sleeves. Some do, some don't, but. Don't get the reflective ones, those glossy ones, don't get those, trust me. Like, <clears throat> like these for example, like these sleeves, yeah, they're glossy, which means they reflect and you can see that, I mean, okay, you can't clearly tell what card is this, wait, hold on a second, like if I am trying to shuffle this right now, well, you see what I mean, it reflects. This is why I'm saying do not get those. <clears throat> because people will try to see what cards you have and shuffle it so you get all the crap. Now, this is a lot cheater tournaments. You have to be aware of this in tournaments because people will try to cheat to achieve their goals of winning. One person got banned for life in a Yu Gi Oh tournament. Uh -huh. Anywho, um, also, make sure you keep up the ban list, because sometimes they will update them for every new set that comes out, whether, what, whatever card game you're playing, whatever it's Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic, Kaijudo, there are any, um, etc, etc. But, what you have to know is how to shuffle properly, and... What that is, I'm going to go to the Yu Gi Oh deck here. Take out the extra deck. Okay, here's your deck of Yu Gi Oh, right? Honestly, just damage, but whatever. Now, the thing is that other way people try to cheat in tournaments is marked cards. My cards are not marked, so you don't have to worry about that. But 
Nonetheless, let's get back to shuffling. No, people always shuffle. They always shuffle like this, like, you know. Yeah, this is okay. It doesn't always randomize it, but it's better than nothing. It's better than Hindu shuffling, but which is basically this. You don't know exactly what cards at the bottom anyways, but the chances are you're going to get something stupid. Some people will just take split deck and half, shuffle both halves and put them back in, cut it. Well, cutting is basically... Eh? And then just... That's it. It's cutting. But... You know what the shuffling properly part is? Don't shuffle like me sometimes, how sometimes I shuffle and cards just randomly fall out of my hand. Although, like that, and if the cartons are getting revealed, you lose. And in case you didn't see that, four cards just fell out of here. Um, <clears throat> yeah. But nonetheless, oh, actually, I can see. In case you know what I'm writing in my water deck, this is what I have. But. That. Oh, Who cares about that? Okay. Stop at the shuffle. The art of the shuffle. It is a sacred thing, okay? Especially for card gamers. Now as you may recall as you may remember, as I said this before, this is like counter monkey for card games. Why? Because it's yeah, high deeds and adventure no. Great deeds and high adventure, no. Battles of tales of strategy and battles of wits, okay? This is where the wits come in. I mean, literally. Well, strategy and wits. Yeah, they play heavily in tournaments. There's a lot of common sense involved, like what cards not to run, what cards you should run. Now, as I stated before, my magic deck is not part of any format. It soon will be, but it is not part of any format. It plays like modern, but it's not. I need. I have most of the cards for it to make it span. Oh, make it at least standard. That would require four Fetch of Finds, four Subdo Heads, even though I hate that card very much, and four Valras of Scar Strip. And just needing those four cards, just needing those four sets of those three cards would be extremely helpful. Wait, four sets of three cards. Yeah, four sets of three cards. And. <clears throat> The thing is about this is that when you're playing a tournament, you don't have to bring a mat, although my computer is sitting on top of one. If you want to see, I will show you, but this, you don't have to bring a mat. It's helpful that you do, but bring one anyways. As you can see, this is my mat. I'm going to do like a pan. I'm going to get farther, so, farther out so you can see this. Um, this is my mat, okay? Yes, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh mat, but I can use it for other card games as well. And the thing about this is that we usually bring your own mat, you usually bring your own style, and people will say, oh, look, nice mat, or whatever. And, alright. And, um, well, this kind of shows, but, like, what do you like kind of like kind of person you are? Well, not really. More like okay, cool mats. What you like? Okay, whatever. And so people get really expressive mats, like like legit expressive. And if you've seen that weird mat with the dark vision girl on the beach with Karibo, yeah, you know what I mean. Also, match a fucking fandom. That's okay too. As long as that one piece I'm okay with. Um yeah, I really hate one piece, but in blood nonetheless. <clears throat> nonetheless. Get yeah, back to the main point. If you wanna play competitive, you have to be aware of everything. Like metagame, when is the shuffle, how to spot cheaters, etc etc. What to bring and that's what not to bring. Anything else. Although bringing multiple deck boxes will not be the best thing to do. I mean, does it get crammed about 100 cards? Yeah, bringing two 40 card decks of Yu-Gi-Oh! would not be a bad idea, but... Get those double deck boxes. 
if there are any made for magic, I would suggest those too. Um, going back to the deck boxes video. Yeah, I have weird, I have weird issues protecting my voice, but <coughs> again, I did that one at night in the morning. Um, and it's like 11:49 right now in the morning. Um, okay, so playing competitive. All of, yeah, although I've never been to tournaments, but I've seen some on YouTube and I get the gist of what's going on. So yes. Thank you for watching this video. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Put everything, all your thoughts and opinions in the thing below. And I will see you next time. Also, for those who have something to say that's actually worth saying and a valid opinion, we the people who aren't jacked salute you.